Hey yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. So today we are back inside of our hardcore world. So I've been reading your guys' comments and in order to breed these horses, I actually have to tame them first. So I think, do I just like, I'm pretty sure you just ride them? Or, oh, this guy's already tamed, I think. I have to tame this one over here. I don't know how to though. So I think I just sit on this dude until he loves me when the hearts appear and then I should be able to have him tamed. Oh, there we go. I think I just saw the hearts appear, so now he should be tamed. Now, if we feed them both golden carrots, will they actually breed? Oh, I think they are breeding. I think it worked. Let's go. We got our baby horse. So that's another animal that we have successfully breeded. Pretty awesome. I think I'm going to just let you roam free. I don't really know what to do with you, but that's sick. I've never bred horses in my entire life, I don't think. Oh, yeah, and also back at our old base over here, I removed some of the item, or all the item frames, actually. Because I think they cause more lag. I saw one of the comments said like item frames are entities or something like that. So they can cause lag if there's too many of them. So going on from now on, I'm going to try not to use as many item frames. Going to be using more signs and all that kind of stuff. Because I do not want this world to lag. It's going to eventually start lagging a ton because there's going to be way too much stuff going on in this world. Yeah, well I guess it's time for bed in our crusty brown looking bed. Okay, so I flew out to this spruce forest kind of far from my base and I came across one of these things. It's a fox. If I can find it, I saw it a second ago. Oh, I hear chickens too. Yeah, okay, we need chickens. I don't think I have seeds on me at the moment, but I saw a fox somewhere over here. And I think they breed with like this. Oh, there he is. There he is. They breed with the berries. Dude, that fox is so. Oh, there's berries right there. There's no way. That's actually sick because I did not bring berries with me. So does he get attracted by berries? You want to follow me? Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to find two foxes. There, I fed it to him. Okay. Yeah, uh, that doesn't really do anything. I need to find two of these foxes, but I don't know how to make him follow me. Oh, did he just kill that chicken? No, poor chicken. Why would you kill him? He did nothing to you. I don't even know. This fox is just gone. Ow! These things really hurt me. Stop. Okay, I'm just gonna head back home because I don't even know what I'm doing out here. The rest of this day was literally just me sorting out my inventory because I had so much gunk left over. Alright, stay 366, I believe, and... Our baby horse has already grown up, so he's just gonna be wandering around, I guess. You can you can do whatever you want. But onto serious things. Let's grab a diamond horse armor. It's not in there. Hold on, where is my diamond horse armor at? Oh there it is. Okay, let's get a diamond horse armor and let's gear up our favorite horse. So I'm not really sure which one's better, so we're just gonna try both of them. Oh, I keep on doing that. I'm not trying to feed you, I just wanna get on. This dude's pretty fast, and he has I can't see how many hearts that is, but looks like one row. Let's try out this dude. Oh, we have tons of saddles, so we're chilling. Okay, now let's go try this out. Here we go, all saddled up. This guy has more hearts, but let's see if he's fast. This guy's pretty good, he's fast. Oh, wow, he can jump really high, too. Yeah, he can jump so high, he can like almost jump this roof thing. Oh, he can jump this roof thing. That's pretty insane. Okay, I like this horse. Pull off you onto there. Now we got our diamond horse armor on this horse, looking pretty sick. Also, another thing, we gotta breed these pigs. I don't think I ever did this. Breed you guys up. There we go, we got our baby pig. So we should have bred four animals now. We can check by pressing L, I believe. Yeah. Two by two, yeah, we've bred four animals, which is the horse, the pig, the sheep, and the cows. So to complete this little section of the stables area, we just need chickens here, and then we should be good to go. But chickens are just so hard to find in this area for some random reason. Oh yeah, another thing I want to add is just like another section back here. Pretty much just for like some other crops, I don't really know. I got a stack of carrots, I'll just plant these back here. And I also got a stack of potatoes, I'm probably going to plant some right here. Okay, after I got all that garden stuff figured out, I think we might actually have to go back and get those villagers again. It was so annoying how like all of them pretty much just died. Like I got all these brand new villagers last episode and they just ended up dying in the exact same episode. So I think the most important villagers for us right now is probably the farmers because they supply us with our golden carrots which is kind of like our food source. And also they are a really good way of trading for emeralds because we pretty much have unlimited pumpkins and melons which they will take for emeralds. And also I have another cool idea to kind of expand this like little stable thing over onto this side as well. But then I don't really know what to do with this front entrance. Like I gotta figure something out. But I want to make this kind of part like another stable area right here. And maybe I'll have to like do some landscaping and flatten this out. I don't know. Just stay tuned for this video. It's gonna be pretty epic. Yeah, uh, getting these villagers was actually a super fun process. No, I'm joking. It was, it was boring. You guys already know the deal. Okay, so we got our two farmers finally back. One is still in the process of getting cured, and I actually dropped my sword, and I don't know where it is, so I'm gonna have to go back and check out the footage to see where I dropped it. But first of all, yeah, we got our beetroot and wheat. 
pretty decent trades. So we're gonna have to like upgrade them so we get like our pumpkins and melons and all that stuff. Thankfully, I got my sword back. It was kind of scary because for a second I thought I lost it forever. Well, anyway, um, I came back because I think we need to cure our villagers twice because I did it once and it just quite wasn't enough. Their trades were still pretty expensive. We're actually low on gold right now. We only have two gold ingots. So I think it's time to go mining for some gold in the nether. Because honestly, finding gold in the nether is like the easiest way. We also have 22 gold ore in here. I just realized that. Do I have a... I don't think I have a furnace on my new base. Well, I guess it's time to craft one. We have loads of cobbles, so I can just go ahead and just make a couple furnaces two furnaces should be good enough where should i put this honestly i think i'll just let me let me see what this looks like i want to try having the furnaces underneath the stone cutters that could look cool and it could look stupid uh, it's all right i'll keep it for now okay i gotta grab some coal we're kind of broke right now as you guys can see i'm just gonna go smelt up that gold it's time to go into the nether let's get some mining done Okay, so I just broke uh, this gold thing with my normal pickaxe by accident, and it gave me eight gold nuggets, so it's not enough to make one whole gold thing. So I think I have to use my silk touch pickaxe, because if we smelt these actual ores, we get one gold ore from them, I'm pretty sure. Or one gold ingot, not one gold ore, one gold ingot. And since I'm here, I might as well grab some of this quartz too. Also grab up these mushrooms, because I don't really see these mushrooms that much in the overworld. Okay, so there's actually some piglins or hoglins near me. I don't know what they're called, but I'm going to craft this into gold ingots. And I want to actually trade with these guys because you guys have been telling me to throw gold at them. Thank you. And they, they pick it up. They actually do. Do they, do they throw something back? I think they, they should. So he's looking at the gold ingot. Ow! Ow! Bro, chill. I, I gave you gold. Why did you do that? He drops me back an ender pearl. Let's, let's throw him another gold ingot down see what he gives me this time. Oh, he gave me three ender pearls, actually. That's pretty sick. Bruh. Oh, dude, you just dropped me those boots and just picked them up again. Are you joking? They're probably not that good anyway. They're just iron. It's actually kind of cool how you can just trade with these guys like that. A fire charge. Pretty useless. Oh, I gotta be careful. Oh my god, I'm at half hearts. Good thing I checked. I didn't even notice that. I gotta run away from this dude. Oh, he's getting close. He's getting close. He's getting close. Oh my goodness, this is so scary. Hurry up and eat. Okay, what did he drop me? Oh, it was blackstone. Pretty useless. Okay, let's just let's get out of here fast. Ooh, more gold. Okay, I guess I'll just go back to collecting up this gold. Okay, I think this is gonna be the last bit of quartz that I grab here. And then we're gonna be heading back over to the overworld because I have 51 things of nether gold ore, which is definitely gonna be enough for a little while. And since gold is just so easy to get in the nether, we can always come back here whenever we want. A gold farm could also be possible in the future if I decide to. But currently right now, it's not really that big of a priority, so I don't think I need to get that. Okay, we're finally back. Let's see if we have any weakness potions. Because I think I need two more. Oh wait, no, I only need one more. Okay, this is the last weakness potion that we have. So I'm going to have to be brewing more of those, but they're super easy to make, so it shouldn't be that big of a problem. Kind of broke on coal, but while we're here, let's just smelt up the 51 nether gold ore. Okay, so right now we finally have enough for two more golden apples. So let's just make those real quick. Okay, we got our two golden apples, and I'm pretty sure I have my weakness potion on me. Yes, sir, we do. Let's turn these two dudes into zombies. Oh wait, I want a shortage of coal, and there's coal right here, so I'm just gonna grab up this coal. Oh, I just heard the other villager die. Let's go check him out. So now I should just be able to throw those thingies. Oh, oh my, did I miss that? I missed it. I missed it. I'm actually so dumb. I, that was my last weakness potion. That was literally my last weakness potion, dude. I'm gonna have to go back and get another one. Or, I mean, I'm gonna have to go back and make another one, because... Okay, I, I'm just a stupid person. I've got like five minutes, I think, before they despawn. Finally back, we got our three potions of weakness. I only need one though, so, um... Wait, what? Okay, well, that is so annoying, man. Okay, well, at least I got my three extra weakness potions there. Now I just gotta sort out to the rest of my inventory, I guess. Yeah, definitely gonna have to go and get some more coal, because we only have 26 right now. Kind of broke on coal. We haven't, like, mined for coal probably ever since, like, the first couple of days or so. Well, I guess now it is just time to get some more villagers back and... Time to get those two farmers I just got all over again. I'm gonna do this real quick so it's not boring for you guys. All right, here's a little update. It's currently day 372, I believe, and I'm currently waiting on some villagers to get cured right now, so I think I'm gonna start working on a landscape. Near the entrance of our base, I'm just gonna grab a ton of dirt. Right here, we kind of have like a little crevice or, I don't know, small little hill. I don't like this. I kind of want to make it more flat. So then I can actually fit in more things into this little area. Because I like this area right here. So I guess I'm just going to start filling this stuff in. I think I should probably light up this place too. Just so mobs don't spawn down here. Yeah, um, 
I think I'm gonna do a time lapse. This is a mini time lapse of me just filling in all this stuff. And then after that, I think I wanna continue building this thing and just expanding it over to this other side right here. I think it'll look pretty cool. Alright, this actually looks a lot better. Now that we have all this open space right here, we can actually extend this thing and kind of build like another area right here. I think it would look great. I mean, I think it looks pretty natural. I can always change it up a bit. It looks alright. I mean, once I have these buildings in here, it should look a bit better. Ooh, it just started raining. Let's check up on our villager friends. I think they're doing good now. Finally, glad to see you guys back. I'm gonna have to trade with these guys to get all their trades back up. Alright, finally making some more progress inside the world. We've just lost so much stuff from all of our villagers dying. That was a really annoying thing. I can't even sleep because it's like not even night out. I forgot. It's like probably noon or something. Oh, another thing I was thinking about was actually making a path. Remember I was talking about, I don't, I forgot which episode. It might have been two episodes ago or like I wanted to make like a path connecting over there all the way around to my new area because it's going to be kind of one huge like town kind of thing. If you get what I mean, so that means I guess the first thing we're going to want to do is completely get rid of this beacon because we don't want this old beacon anymore because it kind of, it's kind of in the way of this, like this path right here. So I think we're going to have to take this whole thing down. Okay, finally cleared out all this and I just got to say this looks a lot cleaner than before. I really like this look. So we're going to be extending this path down this way. You may also have noticed that I also cleared out some of the stone that was here and replaced it with dirt and then it just grew back into grass. And I also covered up these ugly holes that were sitting on like the surface and I just made one small hole with a ladder so we can come down and grab whatever we need if we need it. So yeah, I guess time to extend this path all the way over to my new area. It's really cool to like twist and turn up your path a little bit. You know, it just makes it a little nicer to look at so, so just a little tip for y'all. Oh, and we got 40 blocks of emeralds and over two stacks of iron blocks from that. So that was a lot of uh, materials gathered up from that, even though I don't know if we're going to need it that much iron, but the emerald will definitely help. Okay, so I'm kind of making the path, as you can see, and I kind of hit like a roadblock. I thought an enderman just spawned. Never mind, I'm probably just wrong. I think it was that thing I actually saw. Okay, never mind. Getting back on track, I kind of hit a roadblock, and I realized that I forgot like to fill in this kind of hole right here. So I think I'm going to have to go do that because I want this thing to curve in toward this way. So yeah, I'm gonna have to fill up this hole. Just gonna do it really quick since you guys have already seen me fill up that huge hole over there. Okay, it's actually nighttime, but I think I got the main kind of area of the path all done. And, ow, oh, that hurts. Um, I think it looks pretty nice. Now I think I'm gonna want to build this thing over on this side as well. So then there's like a little small area we can walk in between and then we can see both kind of stables where we keep all of our animals. Okay, yeah, but we're still gonna need chickens, and then we're probably gonna keep, like, rabbits, foxes, like, a bunch of other animals just, like, inside the other, like, stalls. I should probably head off to bed. It's been quite a long day with all the landscaping and path making and all that. On day 375, I decided to actually get my farmer villagers back up to where they originally were, so I just traded with them. Very fun day, actually. Okay, so our farmer villagers are finally back up to normal. As you can see, we got all of our discounted trades, and each of them can buy golden carrots, so they are masters. Pretty epic. Also, one more thing I kind of want to just remove. This thing. I, I, this is, like, disgusting. I, we're, I think we should remove it, honestly, right now. So what I'm going to do is I got to go and actually grab up my dragon egg over here. So I think I can just break below this thing and put, like, a torch. Break that, and it should give me the egg. Okay, there we go. So we got our egg back, and I think I, I might just leave this down here, honestly, because I'm too lazy to clean all this up. And then I think I'm just going to break this stuff at the top, just so no one can see it. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to get breaking this stuff. This was back when I literally did not know what I was doing. This is like the ugliest choice of woods. Random quartz bricks, like just so random. Like, I don't know what I was thinking right here. Okay, so as you guys can see, I kind of laid out um, where the other side is going to be. It's going to be right about there. I'll probably do a quick little time lapse after this. 
since you guys have already seen me build that one, I'm going to try to make this time lapse a bit quicker. Let me show you guys what this place looks like now. So now we just got these two signs to remember where our old trophy room used to be. So if we ever just want to like dig down, we'll be able to find our old trophy room. It just says, hi, old trophy room. So yeah, right, right here. If you guys want to check out this world yourself when we reach 500 days, if you break down here, you'll find the old trophy room. Just gonna keep that as a little memory. Oh, and also I've heard a lot of your comments telling me to put my very first pickaxe into the trophy room. And yeah, I definitely will do that once I make another trophy room that's actually nice. Because I think, yeah, there it is. That's our very first pickaxe we ever got in this whole series. Just left here, sitting in this chest. Everything else is empty though, so there's really not much in here. The OG house. I didn't even have time to get glass. But yeah, this place is looking pretty nice. I think I'm just gonna get working on this other barn thingy stalls. I don't even know what they're called. Well, we're just gonna get straight into the time lapse. Hope you guys enjoy. The sun is setting and I think I'm finally done with the second kind of area of the stalls and it's looking really nice. So you walk right in and you've got all these stalls on both sides of you. Pretty sick. We got our horses, which I'm gonna I'm gonna move these horses into one of these stalls eventually. Actually I could probably do it right now. Do they follow golden carrots? Oh wait, no, I can just take can't they just take their lead and just like Alright, yeah, that's good. And then I can just put them like against that. That works. Just gonna move this dude as well. Get inside. There we go. Okay, so now we got our like barn kind of area. We got our horses. We're gonna be adding some more animals here. And oh, this part grew. I do not want this part to grow. Bring them back to dirt. Yeah, so this is kind of what it's looking like right now. I could build something else on this side. It could be either more of this stall kind of stuff, or I could build something completely different over here. Not really sure yet, but I think this looks really cool right now. If we fly out, get like an aerial kind of view. Yeah, look at that. That looks pretty sick. That actually looks dope from the top. So this is all coming together really nicely. I should actually probably connect this path over. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want this gravel here. Okay, I'm kind of dumb because I realized that we can actually throw eggs and make chickens. Like, how did I not think about that? I grabbed my 15 eggs I had in my chest and let's see if we can nice. get two. Oh, we got one. Nice. Already. Oh, nice. we got two. Oh, we got three. Let's go. Wait, four? Five? Bruh. What? Did I just get three chickens and one egg? I remember earlier in the series, we got four chickens and one egg. Three chickens and one egg is still super rare. Somebody clip that, bro. What? Just kidding. I'm not on Twitch. Rest of the day, I kind of just went over to the Enderman farm because I wanted to mend up all my tools and also my elytra. My shovel was really worn out after all the excavating for this build. All right, we're back in the overworld. And when I was looking through the achievements, I actually noticed this one right here. Hit the bullseye of a target block from at least 30 meters away. And target blocks are super easy to make, so we should try that, I guess. We need one hay bale and four redstone, I believe. And then we should be able to make this target block like that. There we go. Target block. Epic. So 30 meters away. Wait, that's actually kind of far because one block is a meter. So hold on. One, two, three, four. 30 blocks is right here, I think. So I'm just going to stand here to be safe. That's so far. Wait, what? Okay, I kind of I underestimated how far that was. I don't think I can do it here because I'm probably gonna have to aim pretty high up to hit the target block. Okay, well, um, let's just hope that this is 30 meters and let's just go all the way over here and try to hit a bullseye. This might take some time. 
I think I got a close one. That was kind of close. Okay, the flame on the bow is like really not helping right now because I can't even see where the arrows are landing. How have I not gotten the bullseye yet, dude? Yeah, this is definitely gonna take a while. Let's see if I got even close. Oh, I w that one was really close. Yeah, this might take a while. Okay, I swear I've hit this target at least once. I've been doing this for so long. I literally just made a- yeah, what? Dude, oh my god, I'm so close, I swear. I made a new bow so I wouldn't have the flame effect so I could see it easier. But that's so dumb, this is taking me too long, man. Honestly, we'll gonna have to come back and give this another shot sometime. But yeah, that, that, is a, that is a hard achievement to get. If you're like me and you just suck at aiming from long distances. Alright, there's one last thing I want to do before this episode ends, and it is this sheep farm. This has been pretty much untouched for so long. I want to actually add on another color right up here, and the next color is going to be pink. You can see that some of my sheep right now are like still have their wool because I actually turned off their machines because their things were actually overflowing. Like these are all overflowed, so I had to turn them off. But yeah, next up is going to be the pink sheep, which should be super easy because it's just red and white dye. Alright, end of the day, I finally got it finished. You can see them over there. Pink sheep, just chilling. Wait, why is that redstone thing on? I put a torch next to it to test if it... I guess it just stays on. I'm gonna just break that and place it. What? How, how is the redstone torch... There's no, like... How is this thing staying on? Like, there's nothing powering it, right? I am confused right now. That should not be happening. Huh. I honestly have no idea. Okay, wait, I think it's actually a visual glitch because he just sheared himself and I don't know, it's it's just broken. Okay, well, I mean, I guess it works, so I'll just I'll just leave you be. All right, well, I think it's finally time for the outro. So the winner of today's random common shoutout picker goes to James Ford. So if you don't know how these work, check out the very end of my previous episode. I explain how these work there. But there we go, James Ford. You are chilling up there, episode 18. Well, yeah, that is pretty much going to be it for today's video, guys. We did a lot of landscaping today, which I really enjoyed because, I don't know, the world just looks so much better. Now that that ugly beacon's gone, this nice path going over here, soon this is going to be gone. I just want to get the achievement and then I'll remove this thing. But this thing is looking really cool, especially from the top. I don't know why, it just looks like two kind of very nice, weird buildings. I don't know, they, they look cool from the top. We got our two farmers back, which is pretty important, I guess, because, I don't know, they, they supply us with our food. But yeah, overall, I think this was a pretty nice episode. Oh, and you can't forget that pink sheep dude up there. We love pink sheeps, you already know. One day we are going to finish this rainbow sheep farm. It's going to look very epic. Yeah, well, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.